Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my kitchen. You got Rob and Ann here, and I better say something right off the bat here. For my low-carb and keto people, this is not the video for you unless you're interested in making what I hope turns out to be an absolutely delicious, full-on, carb, chunk, yummy <laughs> cake. I found something that really caught my eye in the store. And if I'm late to the party, I'm sorry. But I love who is on the box and I love the brand. So without further ado, <laughs> this is what I'm baking today and what I'm reviewing. This Dolly Parton Southern Style Banana Cake. Look at that, all of that, let me get that. This, the box itself is so pretty and pink. And that picture, oh. Now guys, you can go ahead and make this cake just regular. There's instructions on there. Just add some butter and milk and some eggs and I'm sure it'll be a delicious cake. But the way I read it, since this is Dolly and I sure hope that maybe she gets a chance to see this video and maybe hopefully answer, there isn't actually a banana pudding cake recipe on the back and that's the one we're gonna do. Why not make it all go all the way? There's even a picture of what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna try my best to make it this way. Um, it does, I'm a little confused with the way the picture is, but I haven't gotten down into it. I have read only so much of it, of how to make it, but I've got the ingredients. It's all listed right here. So stay tuned and let's get started. <laughs> I, again, it caught my eye in the store. If you've made it before, please put down in the comments how you you know how it's turned out. And I'm gonna lower this to see if that helps the lighting here just a little bit. It's kind of crazy trying to play with the lights. Sometimes it seems to be too bright, and sometimes not bright enough. So I hope this works. Anyhow, back to this because this is what we're here for. This cake looks so delicious, and I love banana pudding. And I thought this would be good because it looks like right the banana pudding goes in between because it says assemble. It, it has pudding in it. I'm so excited. I, I'm just getting all over the place. Let's get started basically with what you'll need. You'll need a box of this bad boy. It's it's signed by, I mean, it's not signed, but it's got Dolly on here. So she proves it. And I just can't wait. I love Dolly Parton. Do you, anybody else? I mean, I have to stop and take a minute. Anybody else can appreciate who she is. I can remember, I'm showing my age and I don't care. I was a little kid and I loved watching Porter Wagner. And the biggest reason I loved watching it was because Dolly Parton was on it. I thought her music was awesome then. And to watch her grow through life has been so interesting. And I don't even know her and I'm proud of her. I've heard her do interviews that where she's not let people stop her that wanted to stop her. And I'm telling you what, that's what we all need encouragement for someone like her. So when I turned around and saw a cake mix, because I'm always scamming the, the bake area to try to find something that is keto and low carb. I'll admit it. And this isn't. But what caught my eye was the representation of Dolly. There was another flavor there too, coconut. Coconut cream cake, I believe it was. So it was just kind of exciting to know that she was willing to put her name on something. So that's why I'm hoping this is her personal recipe. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to make it and to have Dolly's, you know, picture on there and everything. And, and it may sound simple and silly to other people, but I don't care. This is what I'm here for. I always tell you, you do you. This cake is going to probably be so good. So thank you, Dolly. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right. Now, what you are going to need. To make the cake that uh, that I'm making on the back. Again, if you just want to make the cake mix itself, you only need milk and eggs and butter. This is going to be such a rich cake. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. <laughs> but if you're going to make the pudding cake, the banana pudding cake that's on the back, you're going to need the box mix. You're going to need uh, two cups of milk, one for the, the cake itself and one for the pudding because you also need four eggs. Check it out even frosting that she's put her name to, which is creamy buttercream. Man, oh yummy to the yum yum y'all. I'm so, mm, and I'm gonna take part of this to some friends of mine so that it won't stay around the house because oh no, 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 no. 
Okay, uh, and we need uh, vanilla instant pudding. We need, uh, like I said, the heavy whipping cream also, besides the milk. We're gonna need one large banana, which I got two like medium ones, and we're gonna slice them up into 24 thin slices, it says. 18 vanilla wafers. I mean, I picked 18 out. I don't, I mean, 18 is all I needed. I mean, who can't stay away from vanilla wafers? I mean, seriously. I, I, I mean, I love them. <laughs> Ooh, mmm, vanilla wafers. Ooh. <laughs> is um, that's basically it other than some type of pan spray because you're gonna spray your pans that you put your cake mix in. So first off we're gonna do is preheat this oven to 350. And we're gonna spray down our pans. We're gonna get our cake mix with the milk and eggs and everything all mixed up. Yeah, I'm just gonna read down through here and get everything done and I will let you know once I get the batter going because you don't wanna taste the batter, it says not to, but who doesn't taste the cake batter? Even though it's got four eggs in it, I'm willing to risk it. <clears throat> Speaking of eggs, ooh, these are fresh eggs that a good friend gave them to me. And I want to say thank you very much because I can't wait. I had breakfast with them today and they were delicious. I can't wait to put them in these. This, uh, oh, this cake is going to be so delicious. Oh, yummy to the yum yum. Woo! into this this is going to be so good because I'm also about ready to add four uh, tablespoons I believe it is uh, a half a cup of uh, salted butter unfortunately all I've got is wow wait a minute I'm glad I reread that guys because I half a cup I think I'm gonna put a quarter cup in oh I gotta get more butter oh this is gonna be such a rich cake oh it's gonna be so good Woo -hoo. disappointed me i'm going to alter this just a little bit only because the frosting for this they want you to take this can of frosting and mix it with heavy whipping cream of course that that's um which i'm sure is delicious however i personally I'm not gonna like it. I know. I, I don't like that type of icing. I've had it on other cakes. It's not my favorite. However, this is. I love this stuff. So that's where I'm gonna alter it. I'm not gonna make the traditional frosting that goes on that. I am gonna use. I am gonna use your stuff, Dev Dolly. I'm gonna buttercream. Do the buttercream here instead of mixing it up with that. Uh, and then I'm still gonna add though on top the cookies and the bananas and in the middle we're going to do basically a pudding filling that's all so hopefully since i don't have to put any frosting in the middle i'll have enough for one with one can to do the whole cake um yeah that's the only thing i kind of wanted to let you know the cake is in the oven it's supposed to cook for about 24 to 28 minutes i have it set for 20 minutes right now my uh oven tends to cook rather fast so I always like to check it uh, sooner. So I just wanted to let you know that that I am going to do a little bit of altercation here. Um, again, if you buy this, just follow the instructions on the back. That's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, 
Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm excited because that cake, I'm pouring down because of the bowls there. Uh, the, the cake mix itself is delicious. It's very pudding-ish. I can't wait. This is going to be so dang good. Woo! taken these out of the oven and they cooked for 20 minutes on my oven at 350 so watch them i did use <laughs> look how pretty uh, i did use a toothpick to make sure that they come out clear first I had a yellow toothpick and i'm like how am i gonna see anything so i got a darker toothpick and that helps so those bad boys i'm gonna let sit there for a minute and then i'll find a cooling rack and put those out there i have got the pudding uh, ready here. I sliced up, sliced up my 24 thinly sliced uh, ugh, can't speak, bananas. Of course we have our vanilla wafers. So yeah, I'm going to let this bad boy cool for a little bit and then we will get to assembling. <laughs> I can't wait. my friends i am sorry i didn't have it uh turned on when i was icing everything i was trying to get this thing to look okay i'm not a cake decorator but look how it turned out this is what i made uh just trying to decorate it with the vanilla wafers trying to make it look pretty i didn't want to put bananas on it there's bananas in it but i didn't want to put bananas on because i don't want it to turn brown but yeah i just put the icing over top of it again i am sure the whipped cream and the frosting mixed together would be a wonderful frosting for a person who likes that type of frosting. I'm not that type of person. But this rich banana cream, uh, this I'm sorry, it's not banana cream. It's just cream, buttercream icing that also has Dolly's name on it there from Duncan Hines is what's covering all of it. But I put this, use, as you saw, the banana pudding in between. So let's cut this bad boy because this may look good, but let's find out how it's going to taste. So I'm going to, oh my goodness, I want to cut a big piece. And I might as well, because I know the hubby's going to want some. Oh, that's so, it's, oh, it cuts in so thick, y'all. I'm going to cut right down through here. Oh, it is, it's luxurious feeling just to cut. I can tell y'all right that right now, look at that. Right. Okay. Can I let you see the inside of it? Can, is that a good picture for you? Hopefully that light got that pulled up again. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> now, the true taste test coming in. Oh, I want a piece of everything. Let me get a piece of the top and a piece of the center. Okay. Okay. Ooh, come on now. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, no, that's just good. Mmm. The cake is nice and spongy. Very banana. I mean, but that pudding added in there, it's going to be banana. But even when I dumped out the cake mix itself I smell banana so you better like banana but oh it's like it's like banana pudding with cake added <laughs> yeah yummy to the yum yum mmm there's a banana that is so good y'all I mean that really is and it's filling but it's not so decadent that you go, oh, man, I'm getting full. I'm telling you what, that might be the problem here. You might want to eat this all day long. It's very good. Huh. Mmm. Then you get a little crunchy cookie on top of the way I made it. 
Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm. And I need to stop and say thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of our family. We do recipes. We do anything that life comes along. Um, you never know. Sometimes it's rich, wonderful uh, desserts like this, and sometimes it's low carb. So, and sometimes it's fixing something, and sometimes it's reviewing other things. That's what it's all about here at Life with Robin Ann. So hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, you get notifications for when we do put out all, all these videos. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate you. Take care of yourself. Love someone else. Love yourself. Life's too short. And I'll see you back here next time, okay? Take care and God bless. Bye! <laughs>